confirmed cases of the new coronavirus outside China than in the country. And the World Health Organization says the hotbed of new infections has shifted. Europe has now become the epicenter of the pandemic. Italy now has the most COVID-19 infections outside China. The country is now under lockdown in an effort to contain the spread of the virus. But infection rates continue to soar. Thousands of new cases have been recorded over the past several days. It's not a wave, it's a tsunami, said one doctor at an intensive care unit in northern Italy, after infections nationwide jumped by nearly 3,600 on March 15th. After Italy, Spain has the second highest number of infections in Europe. It is under a nationwide lockdown for at least two weeks. People are barred from leaving their home unless they need food, medicine, or to go to work, if they can't do so remotely. look like much, but the removal of these roadblocks is amongst the best news to come out of Hubei for months. It's a sign life is slowly inching towards normal in the Chinese province where the coronavirus outbreak was first reported. The overall traffic of vehicles increased by approximately 53% this morning. In the morning rush hours, it grew by 40%. 12 people arriving in China from overseas tested positive on Monday, while only four people contracted the virus within China. It's the third day in a row that imported cases have outnumbered domestic ones. Hospitals in the city of Wuhan, the epicentre of the outbreak, have seen such a reduction in cases, they can resume regular medical services for the first time since January. Remember this, nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. Following your convictions means you must be willing to face criticism from those who lack the same courage to do what is right. And they know what is right, but they don't have the courage or the guts or the stamina to take it and to do it.